Today I'm going to talk to you about how to take a pulse. I'm going to show you how to check the pulse in the neck. You place your two fingers gently on the carotid artery. The artery is located just next or lateral to the, the prominence which is called Adam's apple. You count it for 15 seconds and multiply by 4, then you will get the pulse rate. That is how many times the heart is beating per minute. Another way to check the pulse is over the wrist. You place your two fingers on your radial artery, which is located just above your thumb. Count it for 15 seconds and multiply it by 4. That gives you the pulse rate in one minute. Now that you have learned how to take the pulse rate, how are you going to use this information? First of all, you need to know what is a normal pulse rate, right? All right. So anything between 60 and 100 beats per minute is a normal pulse rate. Anything less than 60 beats per minute, we call it slow heart rate or bradycardia. If it is above 100 beats per minute, we call it tachycardia. So if somebody in your family is suffering from some kind of a heart element, it becomes very important to check their pulse rate during that episode. That check the pulse rate of the patient and report, to, report it to the doctor. That is going to be a very important piece of information for the doctor. Checking pulse rate is also very important when you are exercising because when you are exercising, you are setting up a goal. What is that goal? You are exercising to a target heart rate. Let's understand what a target heart rate is. It is, there is a constant factor of 220. So deduct or minus your age from 220. The number you get is your maximal target heart rate. Normally, you should be exercising to 70 to 75 percent of this target heart rate. Let me give you an example. You are 20 years old. So 220 minus 20 is 200. So whenever you are exercising, you should be exercising to a heart rate of 70 to 75 percent of 200. That is around 140 to 150 beats per minute. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to MDEL. See you later.